Okay, so off screen I made it all the way up to every place I possibly can except for... Well, actually I can't even make it to Act... Or, I can't make it to... not Act 5, but um... I can't make it to the World Stone Chamber. So this might be the last segment of this playthrough. We'll see how well I do. Let's see if I can kill Akrat by the end of all the level 110 Ubers. So last time I did all the 105 Ubers, except for... Or no, no, I did all the 105 Ubers. And I did Binding a Bale. So I don't need to do Binding a Bale again. Now, I will say right now, if I can't kill Akarat, then I'm just going to say this playthrough's a complete and utter bust. And I'm not even playing it after that. If I can't kill Akarat. If I can, then I'll try the 115s, if there's a next time. So I put a few extra skill points into Vessel of Judgment to try and do some more damage with with my abilities, namely Absolution. I have not MO'd everything with extra defense yet. I don't think I have anyway. So I'm curious, can I resurrect? Oh, I can. Nice. Oh, Jesus H. Christ, what was that? Oh, I know what that was. It was 42 million... 42 million Hawk Talons working against me. So where did the World Stone key end up? Right here. So bonus to defense of 29%. That is just average as hell. Well, actually, that's almost as good as it can be. But it's whatever. All right, so now let's go to Caldium and do the Creature of Flame, which is just down here. A forbidden place. Blah blah blah. I have a sneaking suspicion that Akrat will not be killed because he is a DPS check, and uh, I fail every DPS check I've ever done in this playthrough so far. Alright, Horizon's Focus. 22 to all attributes. That is a, a actually a pretty damn bad roll, not gonna lie.
Oh, okay. I had two Shadow Twins. Huh. Whatever. Um, so let's see. What else is there for 110 and 120 Ubers? I know there's Lord Aldrich Jatan, the whatever the hell, Inquisitor of the Triune, Sun on Mount Ariad, I did that. Uh, and Rifts. There's this cow level. Yeah, Trojan Jungles. Okay. Alright then. Let's try. I guess we'll just do the Inquisitor of the Triune and LHJ. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do those and then, uh. Yeah, we'll see about this. We'll do Jaton first, of course. Let's go the safe way and not the shortcut way. I might have to just, yeah, just teleport, throw up a portal. See, now, weirdly enough, I'm do I'm actually killing some mobs. I don't know why. Oh my god! So, don't know why anyone won't die. There, they're fucking dead, somehow. So, uh... Yeah, me resurrecting these Rackus Guardsmen is not gonna be a good idea, because I'm not gonna be able to tell which towers are mine and which ones are belonging to the enemy. But... Oh well, let's give it a try anyway. Oh, and, uh, drop filter. Yeah. to think that uh, single target damage might actually be pretty good. Also, that was the worst possible roll I could have gotten. But anyway, to think that this build might actually be good if Absolution was spammable, but it's not. Having a... Being able to fire this only once per second is just... 
Yeah, you know, that's just a complete spit in the face. Good now. Yeah, just do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Gotta teleport, because revenants don't leash right and they disappear way faster than other summons do. Alright, let's see. Is this gonna be a ring of disengagement? Ras Algathy? Ooh, that's actually not too bad. See how long Inquisitor the Triune tank takes, since he is a tank, and as we know, I have no effective way of killing anything. I doubt I'll be able to get any revenants when I'm in here. Alright, let's see. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually going better than I thought it was gonna go. I was expecting like one pixel for every 17, 17 absolutions or some shit, but no, it's actually about one per every 
yeah, about one pixel per absolution, so it's, again, better than I thought it was going to be. Still probably not good enough for Akarat, though. Though, that said, I can tell this is still gonna take a while. Fuck. This is weirdly the tanky. This is weirdly the best I've ever done with tanking this build. I, or tanking this dude. I think. go. Signet of skill. Uh, there it is. Bam. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, let's get this and this. It probably would have been, it might have been better to put into Vessel of Retribution instead, I don't know, because the blasts are shorter. I went with Judgment just because, uh, Okay, apparently I can't do that to the follower of Akarat. What? Oi? Hello? Okay, I don't understand what I can and can't... Okay, I, I can resurrect the moon arachnids, but not the followers of Akarat or the Khazra clans? Okay, why not the Khazra clans? I can maybe understand the, uh... The followers of Akarat, but... Oh, I can resurrect the Forest Keeper, though. 
Now, for the record, I might have just terrible point allocation here, and I don't deny that, but still. Like, if I get rid of points from uh, War to Fate or Veneration of Justice, well then, that's basically goodbye anything valuable. At all. And before I just pulverize Akarat. Yeah, that's some, that's that's some good face tanking ability. Come on. Oh shit, I did it! Dude, I'm legitimately surprised that that... Okay, I'm legitimately surprised that I got the kill there. Now, like every other fucking charm I've gotten, I've gotten shafted on RNG. You know, I mean, that shouldn't surprise anybody watching this video. Of course I would get shafted by RNG. This game hates me, or this mod hates me. Or this mod was specifically coded to give you the worst RNG possible, as often as possible. And I still maintain that that is what's happening here. Well... I guess I can do a... I guess I can do a cow level run and see... How fast I can run around there. Wait, that's not where to go. So maybe putting points into the... I guess putting points into vessels really ups the damage of, uh... Um... Absolution. Let's see. You want to fucking teleport, please? Yeah, I'm not really, uh... Yeah, I'm not really feeling... Feeling this for this particular build. Met NGL. Oh, hello, Boots Sacred. I'm not sure what, uh, what rune word I might want on that. Megalith is okay.
yeah. Yeah, that's about what I expected to happen there. So, I gotta keep moving. If I don't keep moving, then I'm toast. That's a good base item I want. Bill definitely still has quite a few problems. Although, with that said, I never did plan on taking this build too far beyond, honestly, 115s. I'm not gonna lie. When I when I started recording this, I was expect I was honestly fully expecting to get to Akarat, be unable to kill him, and then end with an expletive-filled tirade, but I can't really do that right now. We'll see what happens, though, once I get to the 115s. Whoa, hello. Oh, that's my dude. Oh, God. Move. The Seal of Kairos. Okay. So, we'll just kill Cow King for shits and giggles, even though I'm gonna be killing Cow King again. For Bull Prince Rodeo, who's now just who lost his rodeo title. And goodbye, Wart's other leg. Yeah, I'll just shove it in there. Ah, run away, run away, run away.
Thirteen, boom. All right, we've hit the thirty minute mark. I just now noticed. So once I finish clearing out, oh my god. Oh wait, if this shit's not active. Oh my god! The lag. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even bother pressing the button there for that. Oh well. Hello. Give me more Vessel of Judgment, baby. Well, I've cleared this place out, so I got nothing else to do. Honestly, I didn't really have to do the cow level there, but eh, whatever. I don't think anyone will really mind that. Uh, so let's just uh, let's just get rid of that altogether. Hawk talons, yeah, that I remember that skill being ter pretty bad. Hand of a gami, that's a decent but quiver this. Ah, uh, Legacy of Blood. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, you know what? There. <laughs> you saw me kill Akarat without this thing. So, fuck the other one. <laughs> this is why I store good, either good rolls of charms, or I just, uh, or I keep them there for farming purposes. Like these weather controls to make an am amulet. Get a piece of the amulet. Like Diddy Kong Racing. We have collected a piece of the amulet. Alright, so I'm gonna look up off-screen what modifiers can spawn on boots, because I don't remember. Three of those. Ugh. So yeah, I'll try and get a good roll of this belt of this uh, sash. If not, oh well. If I can't get one, oh well. Anyway, I will see you guys next time for the 115 Ubers.